favorite part of soccer is the running that I'm doing. So it makes sense that my sport should be running. Um, After she switched events, she has definitely made an impact in track and field. Although she has the skills, her body apparently just couldn't keep up. Like I said, no one comes here wanting to do anything other than represent the country in the Olympics. So, Needless to say, her injuries put an abrupt stop to her chance of chasing her goals. Although many of you are probably aware, Abby's 2023 season has been plagued with health concerns. As she detailed in an Instagram post, she had Haglund's surgery on her left foot in August and had the same surgery on her right foot the following month. It goes without saying that she had to cut the season short and withdraw from a couple of races. At just 24 years old, Abby had faced a challenging six-month battle with a heel injury back in 2023. After finishing fourth in the 200M at the USA Track and Field Championships, she decided to end her season and focus on her recovery. When she did, she made sure to make it clear that she was just hitting pause in her journey to greatness. I'm still not quitting, she wrote in a social media post, just attacking the season in a way that's different than I'd hoped, with rehab and healing and taking care of my mental. This year, she had a late start to the season, but at least she was back to competing. In late April, the track and field community witnessed Abby Steiner's courageous comeback. It hadn't been easy, but Abby never considered giving up. Despite openly sharing her struggles on Instagram, she remained steadfast in her determination to overcome adversity, declaring, quitting was never an option for me. Following surgery to address a bone spur in her Achilles tendon, Abby dedicated herself to healing and regaining her strength. She was successful in doing so, as she has proven at the Bermuda Grand Prix Gold 2024. There, she won her second consecutive USATF Bermuda Grand Prix 200M title. Making her comeback to the 200-meter event after last year's US trials, Steiner delivered an exceptional performance, crossing the finish line in 22.71 seconds to claim victory. Leading the race from start to finish, she left her competitors, including Kennedy Flannel and Ashanti Moore, behind with times of 23.01 and 23.12 seconds, respectively. She also showcased her versatility in various events. At the 2024 Tom Jones Memorial in Florida, she clocked impressive times of 11.05 in the 100 meters and 51.58 in the 400 meters earlier this month. Notably, Abby Steiner holds a prominent position as one of the highest paid female track athletes. Securing a lucrative sponsorship deal with Puma, valued at $2 million. Despite setbacks along the way, Steiner's journey to success continued, at least until the USA Paris Olympics trials in June. Abby Steiner announced another injury setback after falling short of making the United States track and field team for the 2024 Paris Olympics. The former Dublin Kaufman High School and Kentucky sprinter finished sixth in the outdoor 200 meter at the US Olympic trials. She clocked a time of 22.24 seconds, 0.33 seconds off the third place finisher, and there were just three spots up for grabs on the Olympic team. You know, we put our heart and soul into this sport, um, put in so much work during the season to get here. So, yeah, it doesn't feel good, obviously. In a lengthy Instagram post, the athlete gave her fans a detailed update on her life. She wrote about how she had to shut down her season early to get double Haglund surgery on her feet. While needed at the time, it would mean a shortened timeline to get ready for the Olympics, she added. I was willing to try to make that happen and poured a lot of work into the rehab of both of those feet. In the latter part of November 2023, Abby returned to jogging and at the beginning of December, she ramped it up and hit the ground running. I pushed through probably a month of some of the hardest workouts of my life before I started feeling similar symptoms again in my left foot, she admitted. But like many others, Abby was determined to be a part of the team representing the country in Paris. With it being an Olympic year and being the competitor I am, I figured I could tough things out for the next few months to get to trials," she explained. We threw essentially every single thing you can do for a foot at my symptoms, yet I was struggling big time. 
I was often limping around before and after my practices and getting through on sheer willpower to fulfill a lifelong dream. Sadly, though, things progressively got worse as outdoor season went along, so she had to pull out of a couple of meets before trials. Due to not even being able to tolerate jogs or walking drills at practice, Still, with it being so close to trials, she was intent on showing up at the start line to make the US team. No matter what, she told herself. While she managed to compete in the US trials, she failed to make the team going to Paris. The pain and disappointment did not end there. Two weeks after trials, Abby had not been able to properly walk around the house for about two weeks. I got my third MRI of the season, which showed us that there was more bone spur and a partial tear of my Achilles tendon, which meant it was time to shut it down, again, and get surgery, again, she wrote. What she wrote next was pretty heartbreaking, not just for fans, but for her fellow athletes as well. After all, Abby had not been the first or only athlete to be sidelined by an injury. Still, Abby can't wait for the day she'd get back on the track to compete. I've been trying to find a reason for this season and have definitely been feeling all the emotions with this. This sport can be really, really hard sometimes. But I also have dealt with enough adversity to know that greatness is usually on the other side of these mountains. Most of all, I really love running pain-free and I can't wait to get back to that. In addition to her fans and fellow athletes, whether it be former teammates or previous competition, sending her well wishes and support, she is surrounded by great people too. I have a really good team around me, and I'm thankful for that during these times," she wrote. I'm gonna fight like hell to be back. See you on the track again soon. Ish. In the meantime, Steiner is trying to enjoy her time off the sport. Days after missing the Paris Olympics, the two-time world champion recently gave her fans a sneak peek into her visit to Lexington, Kentucky. The 16-time state individual champion took a trip to Lexington and shared pictures of the same on her Instagram stories. The first picture showed a lush garden featuring tall trees and a sunny blue sky in the background. A weekend in Lex was good for the soul, she wrote. In the next story, the runner flaunted a horse tattoo on her left arm while showcasing a gold ring and a bracelet. The former Dublin Kaufman High School and Kentucky runner further dropped a selfie, a picture of a bottle of wine, a glass of red wine, a cocktail with an olive garnish, and a short video of a band performing in Keeneland. Then, there was a picture of herself sitting on a metal chair, wearing a black and white checkered dress paired with cowboy boots. Hopefully, she gets well soon enough, both physically and mentally. Having to postpone participating in major competitions because of something out of her control was probably affecting her mental health too. And, of course, it would be best if she were to recover from her injuries for good. Here's what others have been doing lately, 